Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for my verse of the day. Today we read 2 Samuel chapters 4 through 7. And the verse I want to highlight today is chapter 6, verse 14, where it says, And David danced before the Lord with all his might, wearing a priestly garment. Now, if you read the whole chapter, uh, it seemed a little confusing because here in this story, um, David is bringing the Ark of the Covenant to his new city of Jerusalem that he just settled. And while they're bringing it there, they take it, they put it, put it on an, uh, an, a brand new cart and they bring it um, to Jerusalem and it's the, the oxen stumble and the ark's going to fall off the cart and they grab a hold of it to make sure it doesn't fall off. And God kills the guy who stepped on it. And it says in the uh, footnotes of my Bible, it says for his irreverent act. Now, here's the crazy thing. They were dancing and worshiping with all their might. And today I want you to look at this idea that our passion for worship doesn't matter without a passion for obedience. Our passion for worship doesn't matter without a passion for obedience. God didn't accept that because they weren't supposed to put it on an ark, uh, on a cart. They were supposed to carry the ark on their shoulders. Numbers chapter 7 verse 9 says, But he gave none of the wagons or oxen to the Kohathite division, since they were required to carry the sacred objects of the tabernacle on their shoulders. So David learned of this mistake. It doesn't tell us in this passage uh, in, in 2 Samuel of this, but they were well aware of the commands of God and had the access to this. So they came back after the house of Obed-Edom was blessed. They came back and they took the Ark of Covenant back to his holy city. This time they carried it on their shoulders. And it says, David danced again with all of his might. God accept his dancing with all of his might because it's not about the passion of the worship if the passion of the worship doesn't come with a passion for obedience. And so today we have to recognize it's not just that I could be exceptionally loud, exceptionally charismatic if I could sing it with all my voice. It's that I am singing to the one who I recognize his commands and I'll be certain to give diligence to following them. Anyhow, that's my word of the day. God bless you guys and thanks for listening.